for some of our large employer groups, ER rates are a real concern for them. The ER rates are still very high, even though we've been raising co-payments on ER visits. And there's a subset of, of their, their employees that really use the ER uh, unnecessarily for, for non-emergent purposes sometimes. So what we've done at Blue Cross Blue Shield North Carolina is develop a model to try to predict who's likely to become what we call an ER frequent flyer or a high user of ER services. And what we're looking for is to anticipate who is going to become a high user before they become a high user so that we can provide uh, information to those members to help them make more appropriate decisions about where to seek care. What we've been finding with these, these ER frequent flyer models where we're trying to predict the probability of three or more ER visits in the course of a year is that there are different segments of this population, people that are using ER services for very different reasons. Some of those, those segments are more actionable than others. For example, there's going to be a drug-seeking uh, segment of this population that probably a phone call from their health insurer or uh, a letter from us isn't really going to change that behavior, but at least we've identified it and the fact that they know that we're, we know <laughs> might potentially change their behavior. But that's probably the lower opportunity area. Another place where one of the segments where we see, I think, a lot of opportunity is there's the, the new mom segment, essentially, or the, the mom with kids segment. And what we see is that there are often repeat visits to the ER because their child is sick at night, crying, they're concerned, they want care immediately, and so they go seek that care at an ER. Um, given the cost for an ER visit runs somewhere in the range of $1,300, uh, there's actually much more appropriate places of care for, for the treatment of the child um, and more convenient places than waiting in the ER for three hours. So that's where we might be able to intervene you know, with those, those new moms and say, hey, did you know that there are urgent care centers nearby? The cost for an urgent care visit is $75, so certainly our employers are encouraged at the fact that we might be able to drive uh, some of these members to that lower cost setting. And also, you don't have to wait three hours at an urgent care center to get care, so actually at the end of the day, our, our, our customer and our members should be happier as a result of having access to those services. So that's some of the ways that we're trying to, to use predictive models to actually influence people's decisions about how they access the healthcare system. Mm -hmm.